Hi everyone, I'm just going to show you how to log in to J2E. Now J2E is a place where you can find all your home learning and a place that you can message your teacher for help or to just talk to them or ask them anything you need while you're at home. So first of all, you're going to go to j2e.com. The school, if you start typing Clifton, you'll get some options. We are Clifton Birmingham, not Clifton Primary. So click Clifton Birmingham. Got an example one that I'm going to use here. Then write in your password. If it's your computer or someone in your family, you can press remember me so it stays signed in. Then click sign in. Now here is the home page, and there's quite a lot of stuff to look at here. Don't worry too much about all the tiles that you see. The main ones that you're gonna use is this one, my files. Any work you make or change or do any home learning is in my files. The next important one is shared files. And it is exactly what it says. It's basically your class shared files. It's all of the home learning. It's all of the things that you should be doing at home. And you'll find it in the shared files because it's shared with everyone in your class. The last important one is J2 message. This is where you can message others in your class if your, teachers, if your teacher allows you to, or you can message your teacher. Now, because that's a really important one, I would click and drag, click and hold it, and I would put it right up here next to your files. So you've got your files, your shared files, and J2 message. So let's first of all find our home learning pack. Click on shared files, and there we go. I'm in 6P and there's my class folder. Don't worry about this folder, that's a, a general Clifton folder. So you're gonna click your class. I've got a PE activity at home if I wanna do some PE, but today I wanna do some of my home learning. So I'm gonna click the folder, home learning. And we've got English, science, maths, we've got some IPC, and we've got a timetable for this week's home learning. So I'm gonna go and do some of my English work. Today is Tuesday, so I'm going to go on Tuesday's English. I can click any of these documents here. I'm going to give that a click. Let the document load, and here it is. So I can have a read through that. It tells me the success criteria, my LO for that lesson, and here's the activity here. So look at the table below and list and list the ones that have not been punctuated correctly. So I'm gonna say, right, well I know London is a proper noun, so that needs a capital L. I can try and type on this document anywhere I like, or if you go to the top, insert text box. Give that a click, and you can draw a text box anywhere you like on the document. So I'm gonna put my answer next to this one here, and I'm gonna say London should have a capital N just like that. I can highlight the work as well. I could highlight it, go back to home. I can make it bigger. I can change the font. I can underline it. I can make it bold. I can play around with it. I can change the color of it, make it red. So Mr. Power sees my answer. And there you go. The best thing about J2E is it saves automatically. So if you look at the bottom here, all changes saved. So I don't have to try and find a save button. It'll just automatically save it. So I can do all my work. And if my laptop or the iPad suddenly runs out of battery, it's all saved and you haven't lost your work. So when you're done, because it's saved, you can literally just close up here. You can close your work because you finished it. Now you're thinking, hmm, where does my work get saved to? Well, it's not in the shared files because that's with all your classwork. It's in your files, which is called my files. So you can click up here and just like magic, there it is. Tuesday English, I can click it and it will show my finished work. So there it is. There was my answer, London in red. Another good feature. So there's my finished work. It's in my files and your teacher in your class will be able to see your files. So you don't need to try and move it anywhere or tell them it's all there and it's saved and your teacher will be able to find it by themselves pretty easy. What you can do though, 
see that little speech bubble at the top? You could actually tell your teacher to alert them that you've finished it. So this is a little message box. I have finished oops, my English for today. Press enter. And that has sent a message now, which your teacher will get a little alert to say that you've messaged them. So that's a very basic way of going from your home page. I'll show you the steps again. You go to shared files as soon as you've logged in. You go to your class. You go to home learning and then you choose the subject that you're going to do. And remember, you can just click the document, type your answers in a text box and then you're done. It will save to my files, which is where your work is. OK, so that's one way of messaging. I'm going to close my files now because it all saves automatic. My files is your work. Shared files is your classwork. So the third one I mentioned was J2 message, which is really good to ask for help or to just talk to your teacher if you need to. Let's click on J2 message. So because I'm in 6P, automatically the chat is 6Ps. Now, your teacher might have set your chat up so that you can talk with other people in your class. The teacher might not have, so you might just be talking to your class teacher. So I might say, I need help with my maths learning for Tuesday. Click the little send icon and that will then alert your teacher that you've sent a message as well. They can reply to it or they could message you on the document too. So you'll find here your messages. If you've made a mistake or you don't want to send that message, you can click X, okay, and you can delete it. Another way, if your class teacher allows you to talk with everyone, if you don't want everyone to see your message, if you want help on a bit of work, you can go over here. So there's a little home icon and there's some people. Click on that one and find your teacher. Or you can search for them. So I'm going to look for Mr. Power because I need help. There he is, Mr. Power. And then you can send another message. Will you please help me with today's science? So that is how you message people on J2E. I'll recap that. So when you've signed in on your homepage, you go to J2 message. You'll get your class chat here. Or you can go to the little people there and search for your teacher to message them. Give that a click. OK, so they're the main steps to message people on J2E. When there are new messages, so when you first log in and you come to this page, you might see on the J2E tile, on this little message tile here, you might see a number one or a number two or a little red circle. That means there are new messages that you haven't read yet. So it could be from your teacher. It could be from other people in your class. So you can click that and read any unread messages. Sometimes you can't always edit every file that you click on. So I'll show you an example. Let's go to 6P again and look at my documents. I'm learning. Here we go. I'm going to click this week's timetable. So what is the timetable for this week? What lessons can I do? Now, I might want to write something here. But as you can see, when I type, nothing really happens. And that's because the file is locked. You can't really change anything. But there's a way of getting around this. Before you open the document, there it was. Click the little eye up here. And then go all the way down to use in J2E. Give that a click. And now here's that same document with my timetable for today, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and so on. And what I can do is I can now edit it and I can type over it. So I might click and I can say complete Oops, because I finished that document. So I can just click anywhere. You don't have to click text box. You just click on the page and you can start writing. And then over here, I could make my font 20, make it bigger. I can make it red. I can make it blue. I can highlight it, whatever. OK, and that's a way of writing as well.
you can just click anywhere. So I'm going to go into Wednesday's English lesson. I'm going to just click anywhere on the page and I'm going to say that one's complete too. I can highlight it. Again, make it size 20. Make it blue. All that kind of stuff. Now, the big difference with editing in J2E like this, it doesn't save automatically. OK, so like I showed before, when you edit a Word document, it will save and it will say at the bottom all changes saved. But on here, if you look, look all along the bottom, it doesn't say that it's been saved. And that's because you have to go all the way up here to the save button. Give that a click. And then you could call that home learning timetable. OK. And then you click save. And now that will be saved, whereas before the others saved automatically. So if I now close that because I've saved it. Aha. Since I've been away, I've got a new message from Mr. Power. So remember before I asked I need help with my maths work. I'll get a pop up to say Mr. Power has replied. If I just click X because I don't want to read it yet. Like I said before, look at that message app. I've got a one. That means there's one unread message. So let's see what's Mr. Power said to me. So he's replied, what questions do you need help with? So I could then expand and say, oh, I'm stuck with dividing fractions, question number four. And Mr. Power could help me with that. OK, so that's how you can see your messages there. Now, if I go back, I can close that. I've read his message. Thank you, Mr. Power. If I now go into my files, there is that home learning timetable that I saved before. And because I click save, it remembers where I've said my edits and I've said complete. OK, so this worksheet, it could be one for English, it could be for maths, it could be for science, but you can edit it and you can change it as you like. So a little reminder how to change. These don't save automatically, so you click the little I and you launch to J2E and that way you can edit the document, press save and it will save your changes. And then you can close your files. So that is J2E. Your files, the shared files in your class for your home learning and messaging with all your class and with your teacher as well. Any other questions you've got about J2E, message your teacher in there. Make sure you're logging in correctly with your correct username and password. Have fun and keep up to date with your online learning.